Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tools to make lead magnets. It's a product called Designer. Welcome back fellow funnel hackers, Keith Bell here from Funnelosophy.com and in today's video, like I said, we're going to talk about one of my favorite tools, Designer. So what is Designer? Designer is a great platform for taking content that you already have, blog posts, um, articles, um, uh, books that you've actually uh, written, and taking them and repurposing them and using them in an ebook format. Now, this tool is amazing. It not only does it uh, it take your content and repurpose it and turn it into an ebook, but it also creates amazing 3D e covers that you can use for your uh, funnel pages uh, inside of ClickFunnels or, uh, for that matter, for whatever whatever platform that you use. So, I want to take some time today and talk a little bit about Designer. Um, uh, but before we switch over to my computer, my channel is continuing growing and I just want to thank all my subscribers that have subscribed so far. Uh, my goal is to provide uh, quality uh, educational content about marketing, about digital marketing more specifically, and I want to try to help as many people as I can become successful. So. With that said, if you like the content you see here, make sure you smash that like button, hit that uh, subscribe button, smash that notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I put new content out. I put new content, content out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at about 3 o'clock. So um, make sure that you, uh, you do all that because I really, really appreciate your support. And I'm going to grow this channel and I want to help as many people as I can. So with that said, without further ado, let's switch over to my computer and I want to show you the designer platform. The designer platform uh, is pretty simple. Here we are inside the dashboard of designer and it's, um, it's very easy to navigate. What I've got up here are some of the projects that I've worked on uh, for some of my clients. I wanna just go through and just uh, show you an example. This is a good one to look at here. This is uh, for uh, a fitness program for women um, during their pregnancy and for a postpartum. And this was based on articles and content that my client put together. And then I just formatted her book and she's got some exercises in here came out very nice gave her a very attractive appealing engaging uh, lead magnet that she was able to use on the front end of her funnel so let's close that out uh, let's take a look at another one here this is uh, actually from uh, this is actually from a uh, a blog post I took from um, from uh, the uh, ClickFunnels uh, blog post. It's 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 actually a post written by this gentleman here. Where's his name at? Aaron Orendorf. Okay, I basically I just scanned in uh, his uh, blog post and it created this this beautiful ebook. Came out, it, it captured uh, all of the um, all of the uh, images that were in the original blog post, and it just added them right to the ebook. And let me show you one more here. Here's one for the this one I just started. I haven't even edited edited yet. This one was how to build great webinar funnels. Three critical critical mistakes to avoid and then again this is another uh, blog post that I took directly from the ClickFunnels page again this hasn't been edited yet unfortunately smiley faces come out huge like this you have to remove them so all right let's go back here and one of the things if you recall I talked about early on in the video was that you can make amazing uh, 3d covers so by, by clicking on that little icon, I don't know if you can see that there, the 3D cover generator, I click on it and I can literally go through and create all of these different e-covers. Here's one, I believe this is 
It's supposed to appear like a hardback book. There's my client's book. Here's one where it is on a iPad, or actually on a Kindle, I'm sorry. Here's another one where it is on a Kindle. I believe it's a Kindle and a hardback book. Aren't these amazing? These came out really good. Here's another one where it's a Kindle. I believe it's an iPhone and a hardback book. So you can create some uh, incredible uh, book mockups uh, using uh, the 3D cover generator. You can also do something called a um, open it up as a flip book. And I'm going to click on that little icon here and I'm going to show you what I mean by a flip book. Let it spin around here. So here's the cover of my client's book. And just by clicking on the, I can actually flip through the pages of her book. Has to catch up a little bit. Pretty cool, huh? So this would be great if you want to actually use this in a video where you, um, you know, you're you're uh, you're doing a Facebook uh, video ad for your lead magnet. You could use that as a uh, a video, and uh, I've done that on a couple of my videos. All right, so what we want to do here, let's uh, let's start a brand new project. Let's start right from scratch. There's two ways you can do that. You can go over here where it says Start New Project and click on this button, or you can come up here and click this button. I'm going to click on this button. And what it's going to do is it's going to come and it's going to ask you to select your input import option. All right. So when we talk about repurposing content, go back and think about some of the different pieces of content that you have or that have accumulated over time, uh, whether it be uh, blog posts that you have written. Um, my one client, she had over 300 blog posts and she was able to create an ebook, which I'll show you a little bit later, just from her own blog post. Um, she actually felt guilty selling the book for $7. But when I explained to her, I said, that's your content. That's stuff that you wrote. Um, you know, she eventually, uh, you know, was able to get past that fact and she was able to use it as a tripwire in one of her uh, in one of our offers. So here are some of the different import options. You have import from a blog post or your URL. Uh, this I, I've used a bunch of times where basically you're just putting a URL from blog post into the import and importing into the document. Import from a Word document, import from a Google Doc. You can start from scratch with a template. You can take a PDF. So if you have a, um, an ebook already you can put it in here the pdf version of it and create it to that flip book that i showed you earlier import from a pdf so if you have an existing pdf you can add that pdf in here start from scratch and input from facebook now there are other options that i do not have because i have not upgraded to uh, i believe it's the premium version but if you choose to do that uh, there's other things you can import from YouTube, import from a podcast, merge drafts, import from a video, and start a Facebook Live or input from a Facebook group. So these are all some of the places that you can import stuff from. So let's, uh, let's do an input from a Word doc. So we're going to click on upload from disk and I'm going to try to put this 50 Facebook post docs in here. It's going to upload it pretty quick. It, it uploaded everything real quick. And then what it's going to do is give us some examples of templates that we can use. So we'll go through here and see if we can find a template that would be good for social media, email marketing. I mean, there's a lot in here, if the, as you can see. I know I've seen some in here. I mean, you've got a wide, wide variety of different um, 
different templates here. Let's use, I'm still scrolling through here, see if I can find one that I like. Let's use this one right here. Let's preview it first, see what it looks like. Yep, I like that one. So we're gonna hit use. And basically what it did was it took our uh, eDoc, or I'm sorry, our Word document, and it added it in here into this eBook. Now, this isn't you know the best example, but here I took uh, a document that I downloaded from someone, someone else's lead magnet. I'm not gonna use this, but these are some different Facebook posts that you can uh, put on your page to um, to increase engagement. So let's go back and let's do import from let's do import from a URL. Okay, so what we're going to do here first is we are going to go out and find let's find a blog post that we can use here. ClickFunnels blog and we'll find a blog in here here's the ClickFunnels blog we'll just pick one here how to start an online store we'll open this up and then we're going to grab this right here up top the URL and we're going to copy it let's go back to our Designer page, import from URL. I'm going to cut and paste it right here. Here we go, fetch it. It's going to go out into the internet and it's going to fetch that particular blog post for us. So we hit next. And then again, it's going to ask us to uh, pick a, um, a template. So let's see if we can find something real quick here that we like. Well, grab, let's just grab this one for the sake of time. And voila, you have an ebook. Okay, how to start an online store with ClickFunnels in five easy steps. You know, obviously you're going to want to uh, edit uh, the text here, but now you've got all of that blog post pulled in here and and you can you know you can edit just about every aspect of this here uh, if you want you can add what i always like to do in my books is add a table of contents and that's as simple as dragging and dropping that over here and then it's going to ask you what type of format you want let's go with this one here now this isn't going to work because i don't have my headers formatted you have to have headers in each one of these paragraphs but uh, the nice thing about this is these when you click on these links it's going to take you directly to that section of the book so what i'm going to do is close this out and i'm going to show you an example of an ebook that i did for a client that was already done and formatted okay here's an example of an ebook that i created for one of my clients um, nicole doherty she is a shamic healer out in um i believe it's why i'm sorry oregon um, and she's got her breakthrough your limiting beliefs unleash the priestess within and essentially what we took is all these uh titles here uh, feeling strapped by time and money, shame and fear before action. These are all blog posts that she wrote. Okay, and you see here we scroll through. It pulled all her images in. And we did some editing. Um, some of the editing that we were able to do is we changed the background of the pages to make the paper look like it had a marbleized look. Uh, we put her brand colors in of this uh, this green and this it's like a, a lighter uh, purple um, but 
you can see here it created a pretty phenomenal ebook and it turned out to be 92 pages long I'm not going to go through the whole thing but let me go to the end here we did a back cover page and we also did an about the author page but one of the coolest things about this whole process was I want to go back to the table of contents now these table of contents each one of these links here if I click on this five keys to building your confidence and self-worth through understanding if I click on that it's going to boom it's going to take me right to that section in her book and you can see how I have the the headers formatted to do that so this is a great example of an ebook that I created so there we have it we just had a demonstration of designer um, I think it's a phenomenal product there's so much that you can do with it repurpose your content so I've included a link in the description below for um, how you can access the designer platform just uh, 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 an air of transparency here I am an affiliate for designer so I do get a small commission but it is well worth your investment uh, there's uh, several different pricing plans but I use designer all the time I think you're really going to enjoy it um, just a couple things before we go here um, I have a free course on how to use the ClickFunnels platform it's right in the uh, description and links below and there's also a link to a free ebook I have essential guide to sales funnel you'll see that right at the very beginning of the description in the bottom so don't forget make sure you hit that like button YouTube loves when you hit that like button because it helps me hit that subscribe button smash that notification bell and if there's content that you want to see if there's things that you want to know about or learn about or you want me to research for you and do a video on please comment in the comment section below I'll make sure that I try to uh, accommodate you and get something out there so with that said have a great day we'll see you in the next video funnel hack on